hey guys <clears throat> it's been a while <laughs> this is a tmau update and i just wanted to say you know that i still have the tmau and i try my best to like you know try everything so it can go away but it does it seems like it's impossible the oregano tea definitely has helped me but it comes back you know there's certain foods that triggers it and i love to eat i cannot be on a vegetable diet 24 7 it just doesn't fulfill me so i know it's hard but you know, it's definitely with this pandemic and everything that has been going on this year, it's, it's impossible. It's, it's, it's just been a stressful year and when I get stressed, I like to eat. I like, I love to eat even though I'm skinny, but I love to eat. Anyways, uh, this year has not been easy for me and I know that for a lot of people. Um, my two uh, grandparents passed away my grandmother passed away from COVID my grandfather passed away we don't know exactly what happened to him because he had advanced Alzheimer's and it was because he was like uh, suffocating they had to run to the hospital and they didn't let nobody in this was not in the US. So, but they didn't let nobody in and he was, we, we, we really don't know. They say it was because of the Alzheimer's, but we don't know exactly. And then this was like two weeks before my boss passed away. And he actually died in front of me. I mean, I was with him in the morning, and maybe like one hour later, he uh, he passed away. And then they call me, and I'm like, oh, Manuel passed away. And I'm like, what? He was just fine. He had his Alzheimer's too, but his Alzheimer's wasn't like, my grandpa it wasn't as bad as my grandpa but um he got really skinny because he didn't want to eat but he was still eating so i've never in my life thought that he was dying from that like that he was dying because people do die from alzheimer's but i'm saying that he was dying that day it was shocking to me because I was speaking to him and he was speaking to me like you know he was fine but um, it, it's, it was a terrible year for me so many people died that I know and it's kind of traumatizing in, the, in a way and it makes you appreciate life more and it makes you realize that all these things that we do are like, are, is, are they worth it? Like, do we waste our time on a lot of things that we don't need to waste our time on? For example, I've been in my job for nine years and I hate my job. Like, I, <clears throat> I completely hate it and I do it because I have to do it. I don't have another choice but um i'm willing to quit because i don't want to spend 2021 doing the same thing i was doing for the last nine years i'm sick and tired of it i'm willing to take a sacrifice and and take a chance at something else and a risk because I want to have a job that I like, something that I like, and 
even with this team and you, I still like keep my head up high and I still wanna do what I have to do. You know, I'm already kind of used to it. The old, you know, when you in public and especially when you're in the public transportation, it's so difficult because all the attention is on you. Even if there's a, a whole bunch of people around, people notice that the smell comes from you. You know, and it's like so depressing, so depressing. I try to entertain myself with my phone, playing games, and look, not look at nobody because it's like, I wish I can like open up to everybody and tell them like what's really going on. I don't want them to think that you know, I don't shower, that I have some type of sickness or disease, whatever. I don't want them to think that but at the end of the day these people are strangers you're not gonna see them ever again <laughs> so those are the thoughts that I, that pass through my mind every time I take the public transportation so yeah that's how my life is doing right now so for you guys that have been asking me how am I doing, I'm okay. Definitely not giving a care in the world like I used to. Because at the end of the day, we're all gonna die. And why do we like hesitate to do things that we wanna do and we don't do it because other people think, why other people think? Like, we don't know when, when is our last day here. We have to live. We have to love. We have to, like, do what you want to do. Fuck what other people say. And excuse my language, but that's exactly what I've always felt. Especially now. Fuck what people say. Fuck what people think. These people, they're living their own lives. You have to live your life. You have to be happy for yourself. Even... If the, your surrounding is not what how you wanted it to be, but do what makes you and your soul happy, no matter what. If you wanna go out and dance in the rain, do it. If you wanna quit, like I'm about to do, do it. <laughs> but make sure you have a background backup plan because you know some of us have bills to pay, and. We have to eat. But, um, yes. If you're like in a job, like with myself, that's what I've been doing. I've been asking everybody, I'm like, look, I hate my job. I am looking for a job. Can you, like, help me look for this certain job? You know, you let them know what type of job, what type of things you like to do, so they know. And that's exactly what I've done. So, um, I haven't, I know that this month for sure, I'm gonna make my mind up because I'm not gonna go into 2021 20, with the same job, no. <laughs> so that's that. So, thank you guys for the comments i've read them and thank you guys for watching my videos and i promise you guys that i will continue uploading videos especially on tmau thanks for watching